giving you a platform with the younger generations present in this room, which have endless digital channels, which have theatrical events, which have television, which have the internet, which have all these forms of communication, to have some sort of communal sharing through all these forms, what would you say to them, to the younger generations? Uh, well, it is enormously difficult to know what advice to give because the advice is immediately discounted. I don't think there's any use my trying to tell anybody. <laughs> discounted for what reason? Um, because it's already passe. It's the fact that I'm, I'm giving it which, which uh, throws, throws doubt on its credibility. Let's it? presume for a moment there is respect for age <laughs> and experience. Presuming that, what would you say? Well it, well, it used to be easy enough to say, be yourself. Let it all hang out. Um, um, you know, but we've been through that. We've done that already to the point where so much of what's hanging out to be, <laughs> to be looked at does not represent uh, the, what the people think at all, at all. But I think it's largely because they're confused about the sense of culture being one of growth, not of this, not of the status quo. Um, if if you send out a poll these days and ask people whether they think culture should be supported, they'll say no. If you ask them, should we support a public library, an art gallery, maybe um, a, a school, and then a school theater and uh, uh, so on, Th then they begin to understand mm -hmm. in terms of these concrete examples. And um, they will understand the movie as, as culture and uh, CDs as culture, which themselves are on the way out. Um, but the, the notion that, that culture is something that has to be developed and that, that you have to grow and grow with is hard to grasp at a time when there, when every usage of the word, except 10% maybe, suggests that it's simply describing the way things are done mm -hmm. by the high brows, by the low brows, it doesn't matter. And I think people are equally confused, of course, about art and all those things. McLuhan said art is anything you can get away with. He was not the first to say it, but uh, that's probably true, but that's very, very close to the the business um, of uh, of running it up the flagpole and seeing who salutes. See what you can get away with. Yeah. That is has become now the dictum of art and is the dictum of business, and it's no surprise to me. Therefore, the public is doubly confused by everything becoming suddenly. Um, a, uh, a, a trade is no longer an art or an institution of some kind. We, we don't talk about music anymore except as the music industry. And all the, the film industry, the television industry, the theater industry is all over the place. The words have been switched. Do you know Ed's, Ed Mervish's quote about the theater? No. He said, theater is not a business, it's a disease. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it may be, but I hope not. But it is above all, the theater has always been one of the great ways into other people's minds and passions. And when you do it collectively, there is certainly something amazing that, that uh, happens when you get an audience. Mm 